Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's a like here, back with another shoe review. This time it is from Icy Star Dot Ru, and today I'm going to be checking out their Lavin Curb Stop sneakers. This time this colorway is going to be in black and white for this sneaker, and I'm excited to review these for you guys. And before I get into the review, obviously make sure to leave a comment, subscribe, like, and join the Discord. Join the Discord if you see this video. If you want to learn how to get these shoes and learn you know whatever quality check or have questions join the discord i'm more than happy to answer questions for you guys and last but not least if you go to icy star and you want these shoes make sure to use code alike it's going to be on the screen use code alike and you get that really nice discount and to get these shoes so without further ado i do not want to hold up too much of your time so let's get straight into the review i know you guys want to see the review on these shoes so let's get straight into it so we had the box right here. Obviously, it's going to say Lanvin Paris right there. To me, nothing sticks out when I rub my fingers over the text. I can feel each individual letter, the smoothness of it. Other than that, there's quite literally nothing else in the box besides this. And you can check this information for yourself right here. This looks pretty similar to the last Lanvin sneaker I reviewed from a different seller. But you can see all the information right there. And yeah, let's get straight to it. Let's get straight to it. If I can open this box, maybe. There we are. And we also have this sticker right here. So when you open the box, just like last time, you're gonna be greeted to some paper. Uh, this was actually on the shoe when I cut it off. So I'm pretty, I'm 100% sure this is not supposed to be on there uh, on the, on, officially. But you open this up, you're gonna see the shoe wrapped in some plastic paper. And you're also gonna get this like tan bag right here. I honestly don't know what this is for. I, I really don't know what I would use this for, but it is here for your enjoyment, I guess. So I'm gonna set that aside. We do have some paper right here. And look at that. We have all the information for Icy Star right here on the screen. So if you need to pause the video to take a look at this, go ahead. Uh, just use code ELEC and yeah, set that aside. And we're gonna have this letter right here. Uh, I don't know if this, I think this letter looked different last time. If I remember correctly, I can't remember though my old video that I did, even I recorded it like a week ago, but this is right there. And that's pretty much it to the box. I mean, if you guys care what this paper says. Yeah, there you go. And it says, it says Landman on it. But here we are, no red flag so far with the box. And let's actually close this box. Very nice, very, very nice. So let's get to the part that you guys actually wanna see and that is the shoe themselves. So the elephant in the room is these shoes have humongous loud laces, as you can see right here. The last ones had multicolor laces. These laces right here are black and white. So let's actually take a pretty close look at these. So obviously at the end of these laces, you're gonna have that stitching that basically separates this part and this part. So you have these strings at the end of the laces. But here's the toe box right here. We have like this material i don't even know what to call this material like a hard plastic and we have the toe box right here and of course we're gonna have lanvin paris i'm checking the spelling make sure everything's spelled correctly and you're gonna have these two holes right here uh this looks a bit messy i won't lie this right here but at the same time who's really gonna be checking all that so here we are right here. A Little bit of fraying on the top right here. And we have this right here. I don't know what this is for. I guess you could put your laces through this, but yep. And of course, you're gonna have your waxed laces. I'm pretty sure they're like in the in the shoe right now, but you're gonna have these wax white laces on this shoe. Let me actually, oh, and you're also gonna have this tag right here as well as this tag right here, nice. Uh, let me take out the, the shoe tree. Here's the shoe tree right here that they put inside the shoe. Paper. 
And as you can see right here, you have made in Portugal and you have the waxed white laces right here. Let me see if I can take them out to get a closer look. Very, very, very nice wax laces right there. And yeah, we have some padding right there. I won't lie, when you're walking in these, this tongue is like super fat and it like pushes up against the top of your ankle. So if you are gonna wear these, be aware of that. Uh, this is like a size eight and a half, I'm pretty sure. 42, yeah, 42 European would translate to around eight and a half. So do make sure when you when you are buying these to translate your USA size to European because designer sneakers, they usually go into European sizes because you know, they're bougie like that, I guess. I don't know why, but yeah, don't make the mistake of choosing the wrong European size. We have the same thing on the other shoe. We have Landvin right there, Landvin Paris. And of course we're gonna have the shoe tree with the wax laces inside. I'm not gonna really show that again because I just showed it on the last shoe, but we're gonna have made in portugal right there and i think you can see the size right there yeah 42 and here we are we have the logo right there it's on both shoes maybe yeah it is got the logo right there and i'm feeling the bottom of the shoe and it feels sticky this is the bottom of the shoe it's like translucent but like it's like it's like sticky maybe i don't know if it's like that on the entire shoe but maybe like they put glue on there i don't know but i feel the stickiness at the bottom of the shoe and here we have the side of the shoe you can see the three holes right there and then these right here and you can see the curve right there and the other shoe as well is gonna have that curve very nice stitching looks pretty consistent to me and we have the logo right there the shoes, the review for these shoes are typically longer because there's just so much that goes on to this shoe. Like here we have the back shape right there. Three holes right there. We have some stitching right there. I make sure to show every angle of the shoe so you guys can literally pull up Google images and check these for yourself. I promise you it's not that hard, but it saves me a lot of time and effort. Instead of individually each shoe, I gotta like, you know, What's going on there? Stitching, what the heck? Looks like the stitching is a little bit too thick right there. That's what it looks like to me. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure about that. You guys can double check that and let me know. But yeah, I noticed that pretty immediately after I just seen this side of the shoe. Let's see if it's on the other side of the shoe. Oh, the stitching looks pretty Pretty good on the other side of the shoe. Uh, same thing right here. I don't know. Maybe it's like a thing on the sh on these shoes. Uh, you guys can again. You feel free to double, triple check me in the comment section. I'm. You're more than welcome to. But you can see both shoes right here. Bada boom, bada bing. And I pretty much showed every angle of the shoe. Of course, the bottom is going is going to say. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says Landvin right there. I I want to make sure I don't miss that. You can, um, you can barely see. Even I can barely see it, but it's still there. But I'm gonna show these shoes on feet. I want to keep this review short and simple. I showed every angle of the shoe. You guys can see for yourself everything. Toe box, every side of the shoe, the top, everything. So I'm gonna show these on feet. Here are the Landvin black and white sneakers on feet from Icy Star. And these are, I know these are not really laced up by the way, but these are super clean. I'm kind of stepping on all the laces right here, but I don't feel like tying them up. And they look kind of cool tied down. So these are the shoes you can see for yourself. You guys can feel free to let me know what you guys think. And yeah, these, man, these shoes are crazy. Like if you if you got the right fit for these, like ooh, clean clean shoes. I know these shoes get a lot of hate, but me personally, I can get fly in these. I can get fly in these. So if you can get fly in these, by all means, be like me, rock them. These shoes are easy, like an eight out of ten for me. You guys can let me know what you guys think. And yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this review, obviously. So, yeah, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Shout out to Icy Star. And, yeah.
peace out